Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. It's great to have you with us. Right, so I am colouring with Black Widow pencils today and I am colouring in the Circle of Life by Mel Pamini Chatsapana Kyoto. I always struggle to pronounce her name. Um, and we are going to be doing this page. I'm just quickly finishing up pulling out my pencils and getting a feel for what I want to do with this page and we'll have a look. So I'm really trying to work out which pencils I'm leaning towards. So I know the colors I want. I want to do cool colors and I want to do dark colors. Um, so yeah, that is the plan. And now I've just got to work it out which pencils I want. I wanted some, some silver, some golds, some, well not gold, some greys. And some blues. So I'm still just trying to get out the right blues. And sometimes I'm not always sure exactly which ones I want and how I want to do my gradient. So maybe a blue moon into a Storm moon into one of those. Well, let's see. We'll, we'll play around and move as we go. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Sammy. It's great to have you. Welcome. How was your parents' day? Oh, I'm glad you got her down for a sleep. It's so hard when they're little. Right, I'm still undecided about blues. So the idea with this page is to do the two, two tones. So the coloring checklist challenge was to do one side, one color palette, and then this side was the different color palette. So, and it was a tussle up about either doing this page or something else. And I thought, no, let's, Let's try. So I think I'm going to use reds for my darks and then the yellows will be my highlights. So we're going to just see how this goes. But I do like the Black Widows. They work really, really well on this paper. Oh, yes, that is a win, not having to cook or wash up. Chat to you soon. Hi, Kenny, how are you? It's great to have you join. How was your weekend? We had a barbecue today because it's a bank holiday or a public holiday. So we had some people over for a barbecue and the weather held up, which was so lovely. And all the kids played and everybody was happy. We even had some ice cream. So really, really good day. Right.
So I don't know what I was doing this week, but we were, I was chatting with my boys and anyway, it came up how different their dad and I are. And I joked around and I said to them, oh, well, the, daddy and I are like a bit of the yin and the yang <laughs> because we're so different. Um, he's completely opposite to me in so many ways and I'm completely opposite to him. So, and then I've thought about, you know, the whole Eastern viewpoint on the yin and the yang. And basically it's not really creepy. It's, there's a little bit of good in everyone. There's a little bit of, wherever you've got a whole lot of good, there's a little bit of not so good. And where there's a whole lot of not so good, there's a little bit of good. Sometimes, you know, opposites attract, so it was clearly the case with us. I wouldn't say every area we're opposite, but in quite a lot of ways we are quite opposite. I'm glad you had a quiet weekend. Quiet weekends are nice. Right, so this is going to be a nice, vibrant. I like this actually. But now I'm not allowed to mix blues into this. So this is going to have to stay completely this tone. So I figured if I do very light yellow like around here. I'm going to leave the background for last because I don't know about you guys, but backgrounds are not my best. I really struggle to make them interesting. I totally get that, Sammy. My husband and I, we've been married 17 years, and I found, honestly find that the longer we've been married, the more you kind of get to a point where you understand each other and you just accept each other and just go with it. But I, it's cool that you've been with your, your hubby for 19 years. It's really cool. Hi, Anna. Hi, Pickle. Actually, I'm going to make these fiery up here, like here. I think if I would go back in time and tell my younger self a bit of what I know now, I think <laughs> I would have been a lot more patient and understanding towards my, my dear husband. <laughs> oh, they're good men.
And I suppose, you know, like when it comes to relationships and all that, it's <clears throat> also you've got to do life together. I think life has a way of teaching us about each other and it builds those deeper connections. Hi, Carly, how are you? I am, yeah, pretty good. Thanks for asking. Got a bit of a, a really busy week, actually. Um, with everything starting up for us. So kids going back to school. Um, and then tutoring and all of that. So I've got a lot to plan. And then um, France, we're going away in France, so going away to France and that's gonna be prepping for that so yeah so I decided this page would work because it's even though it's very detailed it has small spaces so hopefully can get at least half of the page done but we'll see So, this is the part where I pretend I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I know what I'm doing, I just, just pretend. Uh, Sammy, yes, I do live in the UK. Uh, we've been living in the UK for almost six years now. We moved over from South Africa, hence the accent. Oh, thanks, Kali. You're very sweet. I appreciate that. I did do my... I've already filmed my um, end of the month um, video. I just have to edit it. And the results were very... Encouraging, to say the least. Hey, 
Shani, how are you? I saw your live stream and as I was about to come on, I realized I had missed it. How did it go? Oh, pencil paper struggle, yeah. Which pencils were you trying? Sometimes I really like just to put the shadows in because then I can actually see a bit better where what's going on on the page. Oh wow, you've got colours, cool. Hi Brittany, how are you? <laughs> I hear you, Shannon. So would you say the colours worked for you in um in the blackbird song and what are your thoughts on the colors because i've heard they very much like the sioux color and there's another brand of pencil i've heard they similar to Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. It, it always amazes me at how paper quality and pencils are so important. And how different, you can have the same set of pencils and use them in different books and you'll get different results. Okay, I'm going to play around now and see if I bring in some more of these oranges. How is it going to look? Sometimes just pick up a pencil and just color and hope for the best.
So Shani, do you have another theme for September you're going to use since you've been doing the Anastasia in August? <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool. Maybe sometimes simpler is better. And be a bit more focused. I, I find the more colouring books I have, the more supplies I can get a little bit lost. Or I don't use all the pencils as much as I maybe should. I still tend to be more Prisma heavy than other pencils. Hi Connie, how are you? <laughs> then YouTube happened. Thank goodness for YouTube. I tell you, you can learn so much with YouTube. I love how YouTube helps us learn. It revolutionized my art. <laughs> working on a science experiment <laughs> yeah i could i can hear that oh, i don't like that yellow we'll go this one instead blends in a bit better Oh, that's what friends are for, to spur you on. I can feel I already want to start bringing blues into the side of the palette and I have to tell myself no you are not doing that stay true to the mission
I'm still trying to figure out where everything is going in this page. With all these fine, small details, I do have a part of me that's just like, oh, I don't want to layer and layer and layer all these little circles because they are so itty bitty. This is why I don't actually have a lot of um, Joanna Basford's books, similar reason small spaces. I really admire the people who like colouring in Joanna Basford books because I admire their skill at layering in the small little spaces. suppose these pictures you could use gel pens for. And there's a lot of room here for gel pens. Yeah, right? Layering in small space is so tricky. Like, honestly, I couldn't be bothered to layer and layer in small little spaces. Hi, Mona, how are you? Distress inks. <laughs> Yeah, Kali, I don't have a lot of success with distress inks. I tend to end up making yuck pages with them. Um, yeah, I I keep trying, but and also like because I'm not having great success with them, I I don't actually want to go and buy more and invest in in the oxide ones because I'm worried they're just gonna sit on my shelf and get untouched and they're so expensive But I can see how using um, distress inks would help with these sort of pages and also doing them using them as a base for fur I think that could work really well <laughs> yeah, sales are the great place to pick up art supplies. <clears throat> so I say I don't like layering in <clears throat> these small areas, and then what do I do? I layer in the small areas. Wow. I have no boundaries. No boundaries with my, <laughs> with myself. I 
I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, markers are distressing. Well, good luck with that. Let me know how it goes. Hi, Angela, how are you? Oh yes, uh, Denise Klett has got fantastic books to just let the imagination run wild. And I find her illustrations very forgiving. You can get away with quite a lot. I think in these here, I'm going to make all these white bubbles probably just stay bubbles and do, do blue in here. Well, good luck, Pickle. You've got this. You can do your hair. One strand at a time, or one section at a time. What you avoid at all cost challenge. Ooh, that sounds interesting, Yana. How would you do that sort of a challenge?
I think these Black Widow pencils do work in this book, Brittany. Um, I am using quite a hard pressure and I'm not being very patient with them. So I think my blending could definitely be better. Um, but other, other than that, I think they work really well. This paper I find very forgiving. Um, so I've tested it before and Prisma's work in here, Polly's work. Um, what else works? Castle Arts. I don't know about the gold, but I do like the set that was around back in 2020. I find that set works quite well. Um, what else did I test? Arteza's work in here. Just about any pencil, really. I can't tell you about the bigger brands because, you know, like Holbein's or Luminance or anything like that. Um, ink tents work okay in here if you use them as a base. Um, you probably could get away with using ink tents pencils, although I don't know if one would want to sit and paint all these fine details. Oh, that's a good challenge. Pick a page that you never consider doing for whatever reason. To be honest, that would probably be like a Halloween page or creepy page. Ooh, monochromatic page. That could that is fun. Monochromatic pages are fun and challenging. I think with monochromatic the biggest challenge is just varying your shadows and your highlights if you keep your highlights and your shadows then you'll be fine i think that's personally the hardest part for a monochromatic page if you think of like graphite um, sketching um, with just your regular HB B pencils, so that would be monochromatic. Um, so if if one is, if you look at those sort of sketches, then you can just transfer that idea into color. Would you, would you, with a dinky enough brush, paint it? That would be cool. Oh, don't worry, Brittany. You're good. I understood you were asking about the Black Widows. Hi Renee, how are you? Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. I'm sorry you have a headache. I hope that it goes away soon. Headaches are awful. Oh, I hear you.
Don't worry, my phone is plugged in and charging. This time hubby decided to help me out and he set up my my phone for me. But because I am <laughs> notorious for my phone just dying, well not dying, going flat. Um, every time I get a message now during a live, I'm checking the plugs and I'm checking where it's coming from. <laughs> um, Hi Leslie, how are you? I didn't realize that air pressure headaches were a thing until relatively recently. But I've started wondering if some of the aches and pains I get um, at times is linked to air pressure change. But uh, the, the jury's still out on that one. So about five, five years ago, um, I got really sick and ended up with... Um, temporary they called it a temporary reactive arthritis so the areas my body got really badly inflamed um, they've been flaring up and they tend to flare up when it's overcast or the change in temperature but there's been a few other things where I've looked and thought maybe is it my diet um, that sort of thing um, <clears throat> but then I've noticed when it's a lot of wind or if a storm's brewing I tend to get headaches as well <laughs> cool. Well, I'm glad it's a thing, but I'm not glad that we struggle with it because it's really not fun. Oh, Renee, that sounds really sore. I'm so sorry. Right, I think I'm going to move at some point onto the other side and try out the color palette and then I will most likely worry and panic over whether this is going to work until the page is done and then I'll <laughs> I'll be happy um,
So what's your favourite smoothie then? If you enjoy smoothies. Fair enough. I've got that song, This Girl Is On Fire, <laughs> while I'm colouring this page. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, I can't play it because YouTube will um, put a, a copyright on my, my video and then I'll have to edit it out and all of that. So I just have to sing it like in my head <laughs> while I'm colouring. Those are nice smoothies. Yum. <laughs> now it's all in all your heads. There you go. See, I shared it. You can sing along in your head and I won't get a copyright claim. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> cute. She sings that. Oh. It is a good song. And the artist, I think it's Adele, if I remember rightly. She's really good. She's got a great set of lungs on her. Great vocal cords. To be honest, I don't remember the rest of the lyrics. It's just that part as well. Oh, is it Alicia Keys? Ah, oh, there you go. Thank you. Oh, very good. Thank you for clarifying. Although, you don't get as many songs on the radio these days with Alicia Keys. I mean, does she still make music? Has she faded a bit? Yeah. 
Yeah, she was quite big when, was it 2000s, around that era? She had quite a cool style as well. I remember seeing some of her music videos. Oh, Pickle, that's awesome. Your mini sounds amazing. And what incredible confidence. Oh wow, five albums since that song. It just never ends, all the reds. Sounds like your mini is going to go places, Pickle. She's a mover and a shaker. Okay, I'm going to move on to a bit of blue and test these blues out. And hopefully this is going to work. 
I'm not sure. I think I need a lighter blue. I need a lighter blue. Hi Emily, how are you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. No complaints. Oh, thank you. It is lovely. Malpa Mini chats Hannah Yotu. I always struggle with her surname. She's really a remarkable artist. Her attention to detail I find just exceptional. And her newest book, Enchanted Earth, is breathtaking. Now here is going to be interesting because here I need to bring in the blue and blend it into the yellow, which means we need gray. So gray coming into here. Okay, 
and then you use the yellow and you start bringing the yellow into the grey because the grey separates the blue from the yellow so you won't get green so you don't want green here Sorry, I'm just thinking really hard right now where all of this goes. <laughs> You'd have made it green. No, I, d I don't want green just yet. Uh, hopefully not at all. But yeah, if you use a grey or a white between colours that would normally blend and make mud, it will help you keep them separate. So you're less likely. So like here, it's got to go up. And then I need the grey <coughs> to help me bridge the yellow And then here I need to bridge again because this needs to be yellow coming in.
So the contrast between blue and red is going to work really well because they're complementary colours and um, orange and blue are on the opposite sides of the wheel, the colour wheel. So they should complement and look quite striking when the page is done. How long have I been colouring? Well, um, the quickest way to answer is that is since 2020, so May 2020. Um, I had my first coloured pencils as an adult back in 2013. Um, and my first colouring book was Joanna Basford's Secret Garden. But because my kids were really little, back then. I mean, I had three babies, um, four, four years and under. And I think 2013, I was probably four, pregnant with my third child. So coloring and it wasn't sticking for me. So I just carried on trying to do drawings. Um, so I do some drawings and tried making my own doodles and yeah, got some nice responses from people. Um, but then during lockdown, uh, when the pandemic hit, I was so desperate to have something. I just needed an outlet. Um, having at that time, my kids were, hang on, uh, yeah, nine, seven and five so m mom having me time was getting important but I didn't to for me to draw I need to shut my brain off and that's really hard when you have little kids so coloring I realized was a great way to bridge the gap between having a creative creative outlet and being available for my kids so yeah I picked up my pencils again took out the secret garden found a Chris Cheng picture on Pinterest and found her tutorial on YouTube then subsequently found a whole lot of Facebook groups for coloring and then it just it just went down the rabbit hole So not very long. Nope, I'm coming out of the frame. So yeah, I've taught myself um, everything I know to date about colouring and still have a lot to learn. So admire a lot of talented and amazing YouTubers and artists. And enjoy following their channels and seeing their works and finding new people who are also amazing at colouring and then learning from them.
So how about you guys? How long have you been colouring? How did you get into the hobby? Oh wow, that's so cool, Renee and Yana. Wow, Sammy, that's cool. I'm sorry about the chronic pain. Um, actually, Sammy um, is one of those YouTubers that I followed um, back when I discovered adult colouring and I would watch sometimes I would just lurk in Sammy's live streams or I'd watch the replays so um, it's super cool that you're here chatting to us today Wow, so cool how everyone just has their own beautiful story of how we got involved in, in colouring. Yep, it always does make us stronger. Oh, that's cool, Angela. <laughs> he watched Chris Ching and he was like, no. <laughs> yeah, there's still some of what Chris Ching does that I just admire. Maybe one day. Wow, that's cool, Leslie. I must say, since I found colouring, um, it actually has in some ways helped with drawing, but I much prefer colouring to drawing. I think because I just enjoy seeing it, the picture come to life.
Oh wow, I don't know Dee Dee. I will make sure I see if I can find her and see her work. <laughs> now we all influence people sometimes i watch your guys um haul videos and the next thing i know i'm on amazon and i'm going "Ooh, i want that one i want that one and put it in my wish list and next thing i know i have five coloring books or different embellishers in my in my Amazon basket and I'm waiting to buy it. Oh, and Christmas, over Christmas and New Year's, that's that's my weakest time because I then go, if anyone's releasing their coloring book collection, I'm going, oh, I like that picture. Oh, I like that book. And next thing I know, I've spent 60 or 80 pounds <laughs> on coloring supplies. Um, then sheepishly go to my husband and say, sorry, I spent money. <laughs> That's why you don't watch all videos. Wow, that's cool, Pickle. Oh, absolutely, Mona. I totally agree. Sammy is an amazing colorist. Up there at the top, best of the best. And probably one of the best portrait um, colorists I've seen. To be honest, <laughs> Shani. <laughs> right, so we can at least see the blue and the cool and the red. It's going to work. This is going to work. I think my brain is shutting down because I'm worrying now about the background here. All right, just focus. Focus on this part and we'll get to the background later.
Lucy, I hope you're okay. Hope you're not too dizzy. Do you need to lie down? Oh yes, Rita's new book is going to be so amazing. Her whole travel series has been so lovely to see. And I think it's my, by far my favorite of her series. Oh, thanks, Mona. Oh, I hope your special drink helps. Oh, thanks, Renee. Yeah, we all do learn from each other. It's really cool. We all have something to teach as well. I love I love that about community. Exactly. Everyone is willing to share their talents.
Right, I'm just going to turn this slightly. Hi, Rebel. But just being you is going to teach somebody something. And we all influence people in one way or another. Sometimes without realizing it. <laughs> exactly, just be you.
Okay, I'm getting lost. It's so funny, I can always feel myself getting lost. It's like, no, just, just one leaf at a time. Oh, thanks, Angela. That's cool. I'm glad you like the colors. Oh, thank you. Yes, the contrast is nice. But orange and blue are just really great colors. You put the two of them together and it's it's magic. It's But yet to be honest, I don't think I actually have a single coloring page where I've done orange and blue. So I think this is my first time using orange and blue together. Orange and blue on the giraffe page. No, I used pinks and greens. Oh wait, no, you're right. There was that giraffe in a bottle. I think I used blue, greens and orangey browns with that one. If I'm thinking the same giraffe page. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the sky and the stars is where my brain's getting stuck because this site needs to be cold colors and this site needs to be warm colors. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I will probably, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll probably moan internally about the entire process and vent and fume <laughs> why did I decide to do this and put my hands in my head at some point and think oh but I why did I do the checklist challenge and then I'll persevere through finish the page and be so happy with it and pleased with myself and so proud for carrying on with my with the checklist challenge and then I'll be inspired and I'll carry on and I'll tackle the next challenge and on the cycle will go. <laughs> um, 
it's fine. It, it's going to work out. I will think of something. Um, it just may not be today. Sometimes getting a fresh perspective really helps. <laughs> exactly, like we all do. <laughs> Oh, that's cool, Kenny. Orange is one of your favorite colors. It looks like blue is my favorite color today because I am landed on it a bit more. I wonder if maybe I'll do Neo Color 2s in the background. It is less wiggly. So it, it does make it a bit easier to color. You can actually see what's going on on the page. But these uh, Black Widow pencils really do have great color. And you don't really have to press terribly hard for them to lay the color down. So I do find them actually really cool. Very impressive. I think it was a Zucchini Kitty um, video I watched way back in some of my early lessons and there she used to, she turns her page quite a bit and found that was quite revolutionary when I realized it was okay to turn the book around so you could get to the different pa pieces on the paper.
Oh, fair enough, Leslie. I don't tend to be a pastel person. I don't go for them. The only time I use the light colors is more like skin tones. Um, so I haven't, and I haven't worked enough with the Black Widows yet. I find them overall less, they're softer than the Artezas, but definitely harder than Prismacolor. I think what frustrates me with the pastels, I, I feel like the um, contrast between highlights and shadows isn't really there. So I tend to go more for the bright colors. Maybe they're having difficulty with their supplier, Brittany. I don't really know. I haven't looked up the Arteza pencils in a while because I haven't needed to buy new ones. And they're also not my favorite pencil. find them a bit too hard. It's a good question, I wouldn't know. Oh, interesting. I wonder why they keep saying later and later. There must be a reason. Oh, thanks, Sammy, for coming and making our day and getting to know us all. And thanks for chatting. It's been so lovely. You've made my coloring year. So thank you so much. And I hope you have a really, really good night's sleep and feel refreshed. And hopefully we'll see you soon. Are you missing out not having Artezas or Black Widows? Well, that depends entirely on, on you. <laughs> um, 
Well, okay, so let's see. Um, if do you like having a hard pencil or a soft pencil? I mean, where are you in in your pencil journey, Carly? Because I vaguely I do remember you stepping more into pencils, but you come from a more of a marker base, a marker background, if I'm not mistaken. So I think the first thing is like so far how are you more soft pencils or harder pencils? You like both Prismas and Polys. Yeah, I wouldn't say you're missing out. Um, I mean, if it was me and if I had to pick only two pencil sets to have for the rest of my life forever and ever, I would happily pick Prismas and Polys. Um, I honestly don't think a person needs more than that, but some people do like variety and they enjoy playing with different pencils. So if you like different pencils, then um, again, it depends if you like a hard pressure. So with Artezas, you need to blend more. Um, the Black Widows are a lot more forgiving. So like here I have been colouring quite quickly and not really blending out too much and they do permit a little bit of a smudge around like Prismas but the Artezas you can't really do that at least I can't I find them a lot difficult um, so I would choose Black Widows over Artezas any day and I think the pigments in them are really really nice <laughs> Renee loves colouring them all yeah I mean it, different strokes for different folks really um, I wouldn't say like don't buy budget sets um, Maybe it's more worth seeing if you can find some someone who has has a set and let they can let you borrow it and then you can try it. That way you you can see if you like it. Um, I tend to be more towards softer pencils than the harder pencils. So the Black Widows, I prefer to the Artezas because I find them softer. Oh, that's a very good point, Leslie, the pencil shape. <laughs> Carly, uh, I hear you. If there was a way I could have you over and we could sit and do some colouring together and you could try them out, I would. But unfortunately, we live across the globe. Um, but the heart is willing. Borrow pencils. <laughs> yeah, I would happily borrow pencils. I, the, the only two I probably wouldn't lend would be my polys and my prismas, just because they're my favorites. But, you know, budget sets, yeah, you can borrow them. I'm not precious over them.
The nice thing with these Black Widows is um, you can press hard and you actually don't get too much of a wax bloom. Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Oh, thank you, Kenny. Yeah, Prismas, I really like them, so I don't mind the wax bloom, but it can, I get more irritated when the wax bloom reflect and the light from my lamp reflects off the wax bloom, then I get a bit irritated. What would you say is the next best thing to Prismas? So if the Prisma company was to shut down tomorrow, what would be the next best thing? Oh yeah, Monia is amazing. I did read though just recently that um, with colored pencils you need to when you layer and layer and then it starts looking streaky and splotchy it's because there's too much on the paper so you need to layer up up to a point and then when it gets if it gets splotchy you've got too many layers Black Widows, Artis, and Artex. Ooh, anything but Prismas. <laughs> uh, I agree, Durant drawing does need a wider range. Any pencil at all. Any pencil, as long as it, you know, what, what is your take on a good substitute for Prismas? I've heard good things about the Artex. And from what I hear, they've also got quite a good range of pencils. I haven't tried the Amazon Basics. Oops, wrong one. I've heard, though, that the black barrel pencils tend to be from the same manufacturer, just branded differently. Ooh, you got light fast. Tell me, tell me, how are you enjoying the light fast pencils? Okay, so Artex are alright. 
Okay, I don't know the phoenix color. Oh, it's good that you're enjoying the light fast. I've heard a lot of good things about them. <laughs> she made you buy them. <laughs> Ah, so now you want the museums. Cool. I think I would run out of shelf space. I don't have enough shelf space to keep buying pencils. Or books. I'd have to look for another section of the house that I could confiscate. Get another shelf. <laughs> yes, oh well. Well, technically, I could always just arrange more. Shelves. I can't um, stream there because it's open plan into a lounge area. So when hubby games, it will make a lot of noise. So I'll just have to just spread out all my coloring stuff across the entire house and that will have to be that then. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> build new barns to accommodate. See, this is so much easier to color. But now, here, so blue, 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 here it's gonna go in. So I need the gray again. Hi Tepeka, how are you?
really think you could color this page with markers and it would still turn out really beautiful or even um, gel pens So oh, speaking of white gel pens, um, what is everyone's go-to for a white gel pen? Because I have the Sakuru Jelly Roll and I've tried the white Signo pen. And I don't know if I want to buy them again. So I'm a little bit stuck. Okay, you're using the Sakura. I wonder if I just got Sakura, um, the Sakuras I got are just a dud. Because I've got the Stardust Sakura Glitter Pens and they're actually really, really nice. I don't have any issues with them. But the white pens I've got are quite stop and start. Oh, thank you, Kenny. Bye, Pickle. Thanks for taking stopping by. Have a good week. Your favorites aren't available for me. Ah, oh, that's okay. Right, I think I'm going to come and draw this to a close now. So we'll see how the week goes. Um, I don't know how much colouring I'm going to get done this week because of, I've got a lot of prep I need to do for tutoring and then I've got other stuff going on with the boys and their schoolwork. So. I'm hoping I'll get to doing more colouring, um, so I don't know how much of this page will be done by Monday, but we'll see. And then hopefully I can pick a different picture to colour. Um, so if I haven't done any more work, I will probably carry on with this page on Monday. If I can get more done, I'll see if I can finish it but you know this is me so I'm, I'm not hopeful but yeah that's my idea so I am going to call it a night thank you so much everyone for joining me for watching for chatting it's been absolutely lovely and I look forward to next Monday where we can chat some more and see you in other places so thank you everyone have a good week bye bye